Hey, Charlie, congratulations. I know when we put this thing together, uh, it was unanimous that you be uh, be the man and that gets inducted this year. Uh, it was no question. Anybody that comes from uh, your roots, um, most impressive thing about, I think, Charlie, is that you actually, from where the sport started from, build programs, numerous teams, kids at a small skating rink. And I think uh, sometimes in what we're all doing in these days, that gets lost in the shuffle. And you're, you're, uh, you're to be commended for that. Well, aside from the fact that you see me from the world team all the time, <laughs> now I got a couple, and actually the one that, that I'm going to talk about, it doesn't involve hockey at all. Uh, we're driving home from St. Louis years ago, and uh, we get stuck on the side of the freeway in Indianapolis. We had a blown tire, so we're sitting there, and everybody knows Jamie was a little upset uh, at the time, and Charlie goes, Jamie, you can't get mad at these things. They happen, you can't control them, you just got to let them go. So we're sitting there for about an hour, hour and a half, and Charlie goes to turn the car on, and it's dead. He throws the keys against the dashboard. Jamie goes, Dad, can't get mad about these things. You can't handle them. You just got to let them go. So, Man, favorite story. So many of them. Uh, but the, probably the best one was we're going to Quebec. My father and I driving there. Kiwi Turn, a pretty big Kiwi Turn. Most people know about it. Uh, I'm really up to go. And since him and I never been skiing before, we try and go skiing. So uh, we jump on the lift, go up the ski mountain, and you know we get on. And we're like, OK, well, we can figure this out. I'm sure it's a little, little dinky hill or whatever. No big deal. We keep going, we're talking, it's getting cold up here, wondering what's going on. We're not coming down at all, we're just going up, we get higher and higher, and before we know it, we're on a lift for about 35 minutes, I think, and we're straight up this hill, we've never skied before, we went, got down one time, took us about two and a half hours, three hours, never skied again. I don't think I've been out on a hill one time since then, so, um, it took us a bunch to get down there, and we were on our butts a ton, but Pops love you. Well, I think, um... One of my favorite stories about Charlie is uh, just speaks volumes of what kind of a man he is. Uh, my first year pro, 2002, was down in uh, Harrisburg for a hockey tournament, and uh, he didn't know me from anyone. And uh, he, excuse me, he opened up his uh, house to me and uh, picked me up in his little uh, Volkswagen Beetle and, uh, and drove me around the town. And uh, you know what? Um, they were more than gracious opening up the doors to me. Probably in the early 90s. We were elected to host the uh, national championships for USARS at the time in St. Louis, and so, you know, I heard Charlie was a player, so we called him in, brought him, we brought him in from uh, Middletown to the lineup, and so we were lucky enough. We were playing with five ex NHL guys, and two Stanley Cup winners, and, and uh, Charlie was the man. He, there he was out there dancing on his quads. That's one of my all-time memories for Charlie. I've known Charlie since I was probably eight years old. I learned to play roller hockey at his rink. He's talking to everything I know about the game. So um, that's the biggest impact on me personally. As far as the sport goes, if there's one person in this industry that does it for the sport, it's him. You know, he, he does everything just to make the sport better, not to make himself any money or anything like that. It's, it's all about the sport for him. I think that's the biggest impact he's had on the going roller hockey. Uh, Charlie's been uh, a staple in the sport. I mean, he's... Um... He's been around the game a lot longer than I have, and you know, I've been around the pro ranks for 14 years now. And and I think um, the thing about Charlie is uh, I've never heard him say a negative thing about anyone. You know, he's always uh, uh, looking to grow the sport uh, any way he can. He's helping out various sports teams, and uh, even at times the Mudcats uh, international coach at the World Championship with USA. And he's just uh, he's a pioneer. He's a pioneer in making the sport what it is today and where it's come from in the last 15 years. It's all about sport. It always has been. Everything he does, from who he coaches. I don't think he cuts anybody. Thank God, I've made a ton of teams because of that. Um, but uh, it, you know, it's it's about the sport. It's about the kids, and it's about building the sport. So um, I, I appreciate that too. That's that's amazing. Please. One of the classiest guys in there. Wish I had as much class as he does, but anyone who knows me knows I do not. Um, <laughs> Just want to congratulate him on everything he's done in the sport. You know, uh, Jamie Yoder, you know, his great son that he has. You know, just, he's everything I want to be. So uh, I want to congratulate Charlie there, and that's about it. Charlie, congratulations. Uh, if anybody in this industry deserves it, it's you. Uh, I want to personally thank you for everything you've done for me. Uh, you taught me the game. I worked for you. You gave me a job there at your rink, and uh, that was right out of college, and I appreciate that. So uh, congratulations. Charlie, congratulations. Um, again, you've been a staple in the sport, and you're uh, an incredible man, uh, both uh, at the arena and away from the arena, and uh, I'm proud of you. Congratulations. Pops, thanks for everything. I love you. Congratulations.